Dear student, welcome to the problem solving session on Envelope 1 Parameter Part 2. In the Part 1 video, we have learned the definition basic ideas on envelope given 1 parameter. Those who don't watch the video, go to the playlist, watch Part 1 video and come back here. When we see the envelope for a given family of curves with a parameter alpha, if I can write this in terms of a quadratic equation with respect to alpha then the envelope is very simple it is going to be b square minus 4ac equal to 0 suppose if it is not quadratic then i cannot use this technique we have this technique considering the function as 1 and differentiate with respect to the parameter alpha and we will be getting a new equation 2 now solving this two equations simultaneously we can find the envelope for the given curve so in the first part of the video we see problems purely on quadratic now we are going to see some problems which cannot be expressed as quadratic then how to solve it let us go into the session so given y equal to mx plus m cube let us take this as equation one so it is very obvious it is not quadratic because the highest power is 3. This is the cubic equation in terms of the parameter m. Here very important m is the parameter. So now only one option differentiate 1 partially with respect to m. When you differentiate partially with respect to m the left hand side y equal to 0 mx differentiation is x and m cube differentiation is 3m square. So my job is to eliminate m from the given equation and its derivative partially with with respect to m so i can rewrite this as 3m square is equal to minus x finally i get m square is equal to minus x by 3 now i am considering this as equation 2 now from 1 and 2 we have to eliminate m and we have to find the envelope therefore my equation 1 is mx plus m cube the equation 2 i get m square is equal to minus x by 3 now immediately you may think sir let us substitute this m square value in this equation 1 and you can get the answer but there is a problem if you substitute m square here we have m cube so we have to write m square into m now again we have to find m when you take m then this is going to be a problem because we will be getting square root of minus x by 3 then it is going to be a complex number lot of issues will come so we have to think in a wiser way how to tackle this problem so what we have in our hand we have m square in our hand so let us try to rewrite the equation 1 in terms of m square how it is possible take the m outside so we have x plus m square so we need one m square now squaring this equation both sides what will happen you'll be getting y square is equal to m square into x plus m square whole square now it is well done why here also i have m square here also i have m square and i know my value of m square so y square is equal to minus x by 3 into x plus minus x by 3 whole square so y square is equal to minus x by 3 x minus x by 3 whole square so y square is minus x by 3 taking lcm will be getting 2x by 3 whole square so y square is minus x by 3 into 4x square by 9 therefore y square is equal to minus 4x cube divided by 27 simplifying this we will be getting 27y square is equal to minus 4x cube therefore 27y square plus 4x cube is equal to 0 this is the envelope for the given problem y equal to mx plus m cube hope you understand next we are going to see one more interesting problem find the envelope of x square plus y square is equal to ax cos theta plus by sin theta immediately you will have a mislead that you have x square plus y square this is a quadratic equation but theta is the parameter when you say theta is the parameter we have cos theta and sin theta so this is not a quadratic equation this is the equation consists of cos theta and sin theta this is a transcendental equation which consists of trigonometric term since we are dealing theta as the parameter so now we cannot think this as a 
quadratic equation so as usual what you have to do we have to take the equation as 1 and we have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to theta so when you differentiate partially with respect to theta my left hand side is 0 now ax is constant when I differentiate partially with respect to theta cos theta differentiation is minus sin theta plus by is constant sin theta differentiation is cos theta now we have equation 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 my job is to eliminate theta how to eliminate theta from 1 and 2 we know only one classical formula cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 we have to use this so now see the right hand side of this equation we have ax with cos theta here we have ax with sin theta now wiring and adding equations 1 and 2 we can successfully eliminate theta let us do it i am writing this as ax cos theta plus by sin theta equal to x square plus y square squaring on both sides we will be getting ax cos theta plus by sin theta whole square is equal to x square plus y square whole square i don't want to touch right hand side let us keep as it is now expanding this we will be getting a square x square cos square theta plus b square y square sin square theta plus 2 into a b x y cos theta sin theta is equal to x square plus y square whole square now similarly we take the second equation so now we have to square equation 2 so minus ax sin theta plus by cos theta whole square is equal to 0. Simplifying this, we will be getting a square x square sin square theta plus b square y square cos square theta. Since we have a negative here, we will be getting minus 2ab xy sin theta cos theta equal to 0. Now, just we have to consider this two equations. If you add this two equations, what will happen? We will be getting a square x square cos square theta plus sin square theta similarly here we have b square y square is common so we will be getting b square y square sin square theta plus cos square theta and now we can see this two terms get cancelled and my right hand side is x square plus y square whole square so we have a square x square cos square theta plus sin square theta b square y square cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to x square plus y square whole square so we know this value is going to be 1 therefore we will be getting a square x square plus b square y square is equal to x square y square whole square so we have eliminated the theta from the equation 1 and 2 therefore we say the envelope for the given question x square plus y square is equal to ax cos theta plus by sin theta is a square x square plus b square y square is equal to x square plus y square whole square you don't want to simplify this further we can just leave as it is hope you understand next we are going to see a similar problem find the envelope of x cos theta plus y sin theta equal to a it is quite similar to the previous problem so now differentiating one partially with respect to theta because theta is the parameter we will be getting minus x sin theta plus y cos theta equal to zero now take this as two so i am writing directly one square is going to be x square cos square theta y square sin square theta plus 2xy cos theta sin theta is equal to a square now similarly 2 square is going to be x square sin square theta y square cos square theta minus 2xy cos theta sin theta that is equal to 0 now just adding 1 square and 2 square we can directly eliminate theta we will be getting x square because cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 similarly sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 we will be getting x square plus y square this two terms will get cancelled we will be getting a square this is nothing but a circle with center 0 0 radius a so for the given problem for the given problem x cos theta plus y sin theta equal to a the envelope is going to be the corresponding circle hope you understand Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.